Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download fonts onto your phone as well as how to create an offset using your phone. This is for iPhone. It may be different for any Android, but it's super easy to do and I think it really adds to tumblers. So the first thing we're going to do is click on any font and we are going to click the plus sign. I usually use the font and then we're going to, you can search a font that you want. I just chose uh, Amalia, which was on the front page and you click download. Once you click download, you're just going to close the window and then once you go back, it'll bring you back to the app and then you'll click on the font you just downloaded, click the share button up top, and then you're going to click on Fonto, which should be an app already downloaded. Then you'll click install. And then what you'll do next is you'll hit that camera button on Fonto. That's just what the app looks like. Um, you'll hit the camera button. You're gonna hit plain images. And then you're gonna hit the white box in the top right hand corner. And then the share button again and click use. Once you click use, you'll have a blank space. You'll click on that blank space and hit add text. You'll type in whatever text it is that you want. I just used my name. And then you can resize it to any size that you want. Um, I just wanted to make it a little bigger so that you could see. You're gonna click on the font, click on, click on the word, click on font. And then you're gonna click on the font that you wanna use that's in the program. And then you're gonna click on style, then click on stroke, click a black lettering, which, or whatever color you want, but that way you can see it. And then you're gonna hit the width slider and you're gonna move it back and forth to whatever size that you want it to be. So I just made it bigger for this example, but again, you can do any size you want. Um, I then made it a little bit smaller so that it fit inside that box and didn't cut out. And then you are going to save it to your phone as a PNG. And once you save it, an ad will probably pop up in the free app. So I just closed out of the window, closed out of any font, and then I clicked on Cricut Design Space, the app on my phone, and I uploaded it into a new project. So I new project, I hit upload, um, I select from photo library, and then I selected my name. And then I erased everything but the black portion. So you're gonna erase the background and then you're gonna erase the white inside of, of the lettering or whatever color you chose to save it as. So I'm erasing that very carefully, making sure not to hit anything else. Um, but if you do, of course, you can click undo. And then you're gonna save this as a cut image, not a print and cut, it will not work that way. Once you save it as a cut image, you're going to upload it to your project. And the first thing you're gonna do is resize it to the size that you need. Um, this is important to do this before you move to any other steps. So I just moved it, to, I made it like five inches across and I thought that would, as an example, would be fine. So after that, I hit actions, I duplicated it at the size that I needed. And then I selected on one of the images and then I selected hide contour. Once you click hide contour on, the, on one of the images, you're going to click on the words. So just as I'm doing now, um, sometimes it's a little tricky if you're using your phone and your finger, but sometimes I'll just upload it as an image to Cur Cricut Design Space on my phone and then I'll hop on my computer and make any necessary edits there because it's now saved as an image. So once you completely hide the words, you'll have your background and then you click on the other image and then you click the background. And once you're there, then you have your word. So I just changed the color of the word so that you can see it on the screen as an example. So I just changed it to red and then I put it over that. So you'll cut them as two separate images and then just layer them on top of one another. Um, I usually like to layer them before I actually put them on anything. So thanks and thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like this video and leave any comments if you have any questions below.